Hello, happy President's Day. Today we have a really cool video in celebration of President's Day. I am going to show you the best Logic Pro tool that every president wished they had. Some presidents were musicians. Did you know that Thomas Jefferson played the violin? And Harry Truman was a skilled piano player. Richard Nixon played piano, accordion, violin, and clarinet. As we know, Bill Clinton plays the saxophone, and Barack Obama loves to sing. Also, I'll leave you with one joke. Why did the president bring a pencil to the party? Because he wanted to draw some attention. Okay, well today we're gonna talk about the coolest Logic Pro tool. I don't know about any other DAWs. I wonder if other DAWs have a tool like this. My favorite Logic Pro tool Drum roll, please. That every president would love through and through is the marquee tool. I have a very special treat for you. In honor of President's Day, my Logic Pro crash course is not 30% off, not 40% off, but 50% off. You can do the link in the description. And I have a whole chapter on the marquee tool. So I can just click on it and it'll take me to the marquee tool chapter. And if you're on the desktop version, here we go, page two, marquee tool tricks to the chapter. And when you click on the title, you can open up the video of how to do all of these marquee tool tricks. All you gotta do is make sure you're logged into your account. This video will pop up and we're gonna watch it right now together so you can get a taste of what you have in store for you. Welcome to section nine, marquee tool tricks. This is the most versatile tool. I always have my marquee tool on the second tool, which I can access by holding down command and I can make my selection. If you hold down option command, that little icon will appear and if you click on a full region, the marquee will select the full region. If you wanna make transient selections, which may help you make more accurate choices, highlight the selection to the best of your abilities and then use the arrow keys left or right or hold down shift left or right. Another cool thing you can do with the marquee tool is break up loops. So let's say you have a giant loop and you just want to break up this section. You can hold down command, highlight a part with the marquee and you can click or double click and this will break up the loop or you can just delete and that will break up the loop. You could do the same thing with a region. Let's say I quickly wanna break up this one note. I'm gonna use the marquee tool to make my selection. Now I'm gonna click on it or I can just delete it. If you wanna quickly copy and paste a small selection, you can use your marquee tool. So let's say I'm gonna copy and paste this section, hold down option and then drag and paste. And this also works for audio. I'm gonna make my marquee tool selection, hold down option and then drag and paste. How cool is that? You can also play from a marquee selection. Just make the marquee selection and then press space bar and it will automatically play from that selection. If you want to quickly loop the selection, make the selection and press command U. If you want to mute the selection, you can make the marquee selection and then press control M. Bam, it muted the selection. It also broke up the region. You can also use the marquee to punch in. I'm gonna make my marquee selection. Click record and watch what happens. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. See, it just recorded that one selection. And if you wanna to toggle off the punch in, press control, option, command, P. You can also crop selections with the marquee tool. Let's say I just want everything from measure two to four. I'm gonna make my selection with the marquee tool like so, and now I'm gonna press command backslash, select key, and bam, it cropped the selection for me. If you want, you can set up marquee tool click zones. To do so, press command comma to open up settings, go over to general, go over to editing, and select this button, marquee tool click zones. Now, if you're at the bottom half of any region or audio, the marquee tool will be available. And at the top, it will be your first tool. Here is the marquee tool, here's your first tool. Marquee tool, first tool. I actually don't prefer to work like this, so I don't turn this on, but I just wanted to show you in case that's something that you would like to try. And the last trick I wanna show you with the marquee tool is actually with automation. We're gonna talk a lot about automation in the next section, so this is an introduction to that section. So you can press A to automate, and you can create points by clicking on this line. Or you can use the marquee tool. So I'm gonna hold down command to activate the marquee tool, make my selection, click, and bam, the perfect points are made for me that I can use to automate. And you can use all of the tricks I showed you before, for example, the transient selection in the automation too. So by holding down shift and moving the arrows left and right, 
you can further define this selection. What a banger. The Marquee Tool is a legend. So this ebook comes with 20 lessons, also comes with lifetime free updates. Every single time I update, you'll get it for free. Look how much information it is in this ebook. I like using it on my iPad, but you don't have to. You can use it from here on your desktop. And I use it all the time myself if I ever forget anything. And the bundle also comes with three wallpapers that you can change. I just keep mine right here so I can just change it. It includes a basic one, a composing one, and you can have it kind of flip, which is pretty useful. So happy President's Day. I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, I'll link it in the description. The Marquee Tool rocks. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.